All right, so we just toured the visitor center. Have to say, probably one of the best visitor centers we've been to in a while. Now, Mr. Dude is getting a diaper change, Mr. Dude. He's got his adventure and never shirt on. See? Yes, look at that. There's petroglyphs straight ahead, but let's see how close we can get to them. What is up everyone? Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor. What are we doing today? Well, we're still camped out at Lake Mead and we are going to drive all the way across Vegas today to go to Red Rock Canyon National Recreation Area. It's ran Great. by the BLM, so it is it is government ran. Uh, I don't think it's, an, it's obviously not a national park, but uh, mm -hmm. we're going to do the scenic loop drive possibly hop out and do a couple short hikes. It is a little warm today. It is. The scenic loop is about 13 miles of actual driving. Um, but we're gonna, like Jesse said, stop and get out and go down, like pop down a few different trails because there's a lot of different little hiking trails. Uh, doesn't look like anything too intense. We're no. gonna kind of keep it like a mild day today. Just and it, and it, can't, it can't be too intense because my parents are here. Oh, yeah. So they can't hike too much. So we're all piling in the Jeep, Lincoln included, and uh, let's go check out Red Rocks. Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area lies with Nevada's Mojave Desert. It's known for geological features such as towering red sandstone peaks and the Keystone Thrust Fault, as well as Native American petroglyphs. Panoramic viewing spots dot the 13-mile scenic drive. The sheltered Icebox Canyon has seasonal waterfalls. To the south, Spring Mountain Ranch State Park features historic buildings and hiking trails. artistic wind sand dunes are constantly being rebuilt. Strong wind shifted the sands back and forth leaving behind tracks like brush strokes on canvas. Alright, so now we're venturing on foot. We're hiking Petroglyph Wall Trail, which is a short hike. It is 0.15 in each direction. We were told it is a 30 minute hike, but there's a lot of cool petroglyphs on a wall. So that's uh, what we're doing. We got the cub, we got mom back there, and my mom, and Melissa, the mom, and my dad. It's a little rocky. Uh, yeah, look forward to checking it out. All right, so there's petroglyphs straight ahead, but let's see how close we can get to them.
So, the Petroglyph Wall is really not that cool. You can't get that close. And unfortunately, there's only a few. The, what he showed us in the book was way better. But it is a short hike. So if you want to stretch your legs. Short. So if you're looking for a super duper short hike, this would be it. Oh wow, there's another rock inside a rock. Yeah. Is that a fossil? That looks like a fossil. That definitely looks like a fossil. Sorry, we're right. checking out a fossil. Oh, really? What we think. Yeah. We don't know, we might be wrong. After enjoying most of the day at Red Rocks, we drove to the north side of Las Vegas. We had been looking on Google for a relaxed restaurant that would have easy parking and be near the Fremont Street experience. We ended up going to Flippin' Good Chicken Burgers and Beer. The food and the service were great. After a good meal, we made the short walk to Fremont Street. We have all been before, but it was fun to see the lights and Lincoln especially enjoyed them. So one of the things that really blew our minds about the Las Vegas area was all of the great hiking. Another hike that we did that was actually in the Lake Mead National Recreation Area was Anniversary Narrows. It's this freaking incredible, incredible slot canyon. And we've seen a lot of slot canyons. Yes, but this one is like tucked in there, hidden away in Lake Mead National Recreation Area, and you would never suspect it. No, it was 20 minutes from our camp at Government Wash, um, which obviously there's a fee to get into the Lake Mead National Recreation Area, or your National Park Pass will cover that fee as well. And the hike was pretty short. Uh, we did go in a mine as well. The mine was really cool. Maybe not recommended with a six month old uh, baby, but we did it anyway. Come on, cub. Don't impel yourself, cub. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Hang on, Lincoln. We're going spelunking. Ah! Ah! Hang on, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Are you guys coming? No. Woo! Come on, Lincoln! Let's go! Spelunking. Oh, that's not creepy. That's like glittery. That's creepy. Oh, yeah. What's that, Ben? There's like a little Chucky doll. Oh, that's creepy. Did you see somebody um, put like fake spider webs? No. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at how far Robert goes. There's a shit ton of trash. Oh, wow. I wonder what this mine was for. Any idea? Probably precious rocks. Precious gems. We made it! And then the Narrows. And the Narrows just felt like they kept going and going. Honestly, it's probably 
top five for slot canyons. And we've done a lot in Utah, <laughs> Escalante area. This one was just so unique. Um, more of a sandstone, but it just felt like the canyon changed quite often. That is a bold statement, dear, but I, I'll agree. I really liked this hike. It was a little bit tricky with the dog. We had to pick her up a few times. Yes. Um, and it was, we had to, you know, do a few, a little bit of climbing and trampoline mm -hmm. type sections, but nothing crazy, nothing that we couldn't do with Lincoln. Yes. Getting there can be difficult. I think a stock four wheel drive will be totally fine. Anything less than that, there is this one decline that you're going to need four wheel drive to get up or you can park there, but it will extend your hiking probably a couple miles. Yeah, I wouldn't take a Honda Civic all the way to the actual no. wash trailhead, but you can park way further back and then walk all the way in, which will definitely extend your hike probably about a mile. Yes, highly, highly recommend this trail. Popular seasonal activity for the Las Vegas area is drive-through light tours. We went to Glittering Lights at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It was almost $40 for entrance, but it took about 25 minutes to drive through the whole thing and we were able to go at our own pace. We really enjoyed it and it was really fun to watch Lincoln. All right guys, so we talk about this time and time again, and every type of rig, RV, travel trailer, fifth wheel, earth roamer, overland setup, they all have their pros and cons, right? We're gonna talk about one of the pros for ours, and it's the fact that we have four wheel drive. So, it might be hard to tell, but this spot is extremely, extremely soft. Um, so you can tell, you can tell it, it is just extremely soft sand. So we talked about it when we came in here and the way our spot was set up and how we all wanted to kind of park together closely and whatnot. Uh, we determined that we were the only ones that could go into this exact spot, which is a spot. The class A's, there's just no way they would have been able to go in here and successfully make it out without a toe strap, without being completely buried down to the frame. So we're hoping the Ram does not have that issue as well. Uh, I put it in four low, and my goal is to back up as far as I can and then try to make this turn right here onto a more solid ground. We'll see how it goes. Um, worst case scenario, we have toe straps and we have the Jeep. 